we'll start right now and then we'll uh we'll go through this and then we'll open it up for questions afterwards as well uh if there's any questions throughout the time feel free to enter them in the questions area uh my name is ryan kohler i'm also here with marie planchard and we just wanted to show something cool that we've created for specifically for first robotics teams that should help out teams when it comes to using a lot of the part libraries that you get from Rev Robotics or Andy Mark or even the fields. So what I'm going to do is this is a dashboard and I'll show everybody should be able to see my screen. Uh, this dashboard is created and we're going to launch it out to everybody that's on the platform for First Robotics uh, probably tomorrow. And this is called First Challenges Dashboard. Now this dashboard has a lot of different tabs to it, a lot of information, but just to make it a little easier, uh, there's this cool little feature inside the platform where you can actually create a story. Now, this drop down on the blue ribbon up top to, for the dashboard, you can go to story, you can go to first dashboard and hit play. Now, this basically goes through the basic information about this, what the dashboard is, starts to explain the first tab here is for CAD. This is where you're doing a lot of your designs. Uh, you'll have the X design on the right. And on the left side, you have your bookmark editor, which in the previous webinar we talked about this is basically your, your file management. This is where you can do your folders. As you can see here, I have bookmarks, team project, assembly one, and I have a part in here. And you can even see what revision it is, if it's locked or not, a lot of information. Now, as we move on, we have the data management tab. This is a combination of your 3D space that you create for your team for them to store. It's basically the background of where the data is stored. And then you also have bookmark editor again, because this is going to be the structure of how you want it to look. Uh, many people are used to having file structure and folder structures, and we want to make sure you have that available, but as well as using uh, P PLM and PDM functions, such as checking in, checking out, or even uh, part maturity. Uh, you know, if you're finished with your assembly at the end of the year and you want to release it so that next year you can create a copy of it, but not edit that previous years. This is a great area to do that in. And then also 3D Play, which is a nice, quick, and easy way to view a part. So instead of opening it to edit, you can quickly open up a here. You can see there's in the bottom, there's things like measure and a few other views where you can basically look at the part and just kind of take a look at it um, and even add some notes on there as well. Now, as we move on, these are the areas we specifically created for FIRST Robotics. So this first one is our, uh, is Rev Robotics Parts. We basically uploaded the library of parts uh, for the uh, base, and we categorize them into the same categories that are on the PDF that come with the parts. So if you want to look for wheels, they're right here. If you want to look for sprockets, uh, spacers, you name it, we basically categorize them for you and put them in folders. Now I'll go in after to explain how easy they are to use. Uh, but basically, these are the different categories we did, all of the same ones in this PDF. And also for Andy Mark, we also did their part library as well. And we added those in as well for the spacer kit, the tough mini kit, loose items, and so on. So these are all in here. And uh, yes, don't worry, this is being recorded as we speak. Uh, so if you say something funny in chat, it'll be in the recording, just like I said right there. <laughs> so we'll make sure this gets out afterwards. Now, as we move on, we go to the second or the final tab, and this is where you're going to see things uh, about learning content. So this is where you have a lot of learning content. You can kind of quickly jump to stuff. And then you might have noticed, but well, we actually added one more tab in here called Field, Fields CAD. This is where we're going to basically upload the fields once we get access to them uh to for all teams to be able to quickly access them directly inside their dashboard so after the live event on the 7th uh, we will be uploading these in here so that you can quickly grab your field and use it immediately drag it into your x design and play around with it and you'll have the full view of it as well so this is something new we added in we want to make it so that all the content that you have access to uh, normally is in here and easy to use now if you didn't already know um, if you were to go to the question mark up top here and go to user communities and go to 3D Experience Platform, there is actually a user community for students. Now, in this student community, if you're using SolidWorks or using other different other other uh softwares as well, there is actually a wiki 
this green tab on the top right, and there's one called first. Now in here, we also have the kit of parts in full 3D XML files that you can download and add to your own libraries. So if you wanna do it manually on your own, it's right here for you to do. Uh, but as I mentioned, we put these in folders for you already in 3D spaces so that you can just grab them really easily and quickly. Now to show what that looks like if I wanna grab a part, let's say I'm in grabbing a rev part and I wanna grab, we'll grab this one, 41-1316. All I have to do is click and drag it and go up to the top here and I can choose what tab I wanna drop it into. So if I go to the CAD tab and I choose my assembly one, I can drop it right in here and it'll basically draw a connection to that part directly into my bookmark editor. Now what I can do is I can actually drag that right into X-Design. So I can drag it right into X-Design, it'll open the part immediately or it'll start opening the part. And then I can even full screen bookmark editor and I can work on basically locking this part, using it how I want. Um, I can even change the maturity of it. Uh, you can even, and the, a great way to do it is actually if you're gonna use this part a lot or maybe you wanna make modifications to one of the parts that we offered, you actually probably wanna to go to standard here and you wanna do a save as, and then you wanna save it into your collab space. And so by saving it into your collaborative space, you've now created a copy of it. And now that part is something that you can edit. So it's a quick, easy way to do that. Um, and something I didn't show last time, which I do wanna show is if I were to create a new component in here, I'm just going to call it physical product one. And actually, Marie, this is something new for you as well, which is actually really cool. So if I save a part, I'm just going to call this test part. I'm going to save it in my team project collab space. Now, normally you would have to basically go down to the bottom here and also do add bookmark. But apparently it indexes a million times faster if I'd actually just click and drag it from test part, the title there, and drop it directly into bookmark. It automatically indexes it perfectly. It's now connected. It's ready to go. That's pretty so, cool. Yeah. Uh, Kunlik figured that out. Didn't know that. Didn't even know you could do that from here. So learn something new every day. So that is the basics of what we what we created for you. As I mentioned before, CAD, data management, Rev Robotics, Andymark, and the fields, which will come live on the 8th, and then even the learning content. And we wanted to show show this to everybody because we're going to release it to everybody and share a copy of this. So you have a copy of your own that you can then edit, you can add more tabs to it, you can customize it any way you want, but it'll be a copy of what we created. So you'll still have access to every single one of these 3D searches, which is indexing those specific files, just like we did. So that is the gist of what I wanted to show. Not a lot of content, but something that I think could be extremely helpful for all of you. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna open it up for questions. And then we'll make sure this recording gets online and then everybody can watch it so they can understand how to use the dashboard. And, and hopefully it'll be very helpful for everybody. Thank you all for coming. Uh, once again, this will be recorded. We will get this out to everybody uh, so you can watch the recording again. Uh, some of the questions in the middle will be cut out. Uh, but, uh, but yes, we'll, uh, we'll get this out for everybody to rewatch. Okay, right. thanks, Ryan. Thanks, everybody, and have a good, safe holiday. See you in January. <laughs> See you next year. <laughs> All right. Bye bye.